there is another aspect to FIR filters in terms of relationship to zeros. So, relationship between zeros of a linear phase FIR filter. So, recall that each of n has to be either plus or minus each of cap n minus 1 minus little n and this was actually one of the earlier tutorial problems where you were asked to relate the z transform of these two sequences just to quickly recall. So, if each of n where each of n minus 1 plus n then h of z is in this particular case all you are doing is here you have shifted it by n minus 1 samples to the left right. If you consider h of n then h of n minus 1 plus n is nothing but z to the n minus 1 h of z all right. Now, instead of plus n if you now take this expression and then replace plus n by minus n wherever z is there you have to replace z by z inverse. Therefore, if this were now the case all you need to do is replace z by z inverse therefore, this is now the relationship. Therefore, if this were the symmetry in the time domain in the transform domain this is how the transforms are related. In addition suppose each of n were real valued. So, this means that if z naught where a 0 then z naught star also is a 0 because zeros have to occur in complex conjugate pairs because the sequence is real. Therefore, each of z naught will be z naught to the minus n to the minus 1 times each of z naught inverse and because z naught being a 0 means z naught star also is a 0. So, if z naught were a 0 each of z naught is 0 and each of z naught is this also because of symmetry. Because the sequence is real if z naught were a 0, z naught star also is a 0. If z naught star is a 0 then this must also be right. All I have done is I am using this equation and I am also using the fact that if z naught were a 0 z naught star also is a 0. So, immediately you can conclude. So, each of z naught is 0 this is what we started off with, but then h of z naught star also is a 0 because of real valued. From these two equations remember each of these terms is 0. Since this cannot be 0, this has to be 0. Therefore, each of z naught inverse is a 0 is a 0, each of z naught star inverse also is a 0. And the implication is 
if z0 is a 0 other zeros are z0 star this follows from real valuedness and then z0 star inverse and z0 inverse these two follow from the symmetry equations and hence if z0 had the form r e to the j theta then other zeros are the complex conjugate r e to the minus j theta and then z0 star inverse 1 by r e to the j theta and 1 by r e to the minus j theta. Hence, if you had a 0 here, then you are guaranteed to have a 0 here, you are guaranteed to have a 0 here because of real valuedness. This 0 being here because of symmetry has to have a 0 here and these zeros are in their reflected positions r e to the j theta 1 by r e to the j theta r e to the minus j theta 1 by r e to the minus j theta. Therefore, complex zeros having r not equal to 1 occur in sets of 4 all right on the other hand suppose you have a 0 on the unit circle then its corresponding complex conjugate is this notice that in this case the reflected position 0 is the equation that has to be satisfied the four equations that have to be satisfied are satisfied by these two roots themselves you do not need four independent or distinct roots this these two roots satisfy all four equations. Suppose you have a 0 here, this is its own complex conjugate, is its own reflected root. Therefore, if you have a root at z equal to 1, z equal to 1 satisfies all four equations. The other location where that single root will satisfy all four equations will be z equal to minus 1. So, if a root is here, again it is its own complex conjugate is its own reflected root. Now, if you go back and look at my notes I had given the pole 0 plot for the linear phase FIR filter which I had designed using the FIR PM command 30 second order filter and there you would have seen roots like this. and then you would have seen roots and there was even I think in this particular case there were roots like this. Therefore, of unit circle zeros that are complex occur in sets of 4, zeros on the unit circle occur in complex conjugate pairs satisfying their own reflected roots condition and real valued zeros you just need 2. for its reflected position. In this particular case there are no zeros at z equal to 1 or minus 1. So, go back and look at the exact pole 0 plot for the 30 second order FIR filter case. They will follow these conditions that we had just li listed. 
Now it is good to take stock of things in we have seen linear phase FIR filters that is what the main topic of this has been the last few lectures. Then we also mentioned IAR filters right here we pointed out symmetry is sufficient but not necessary for the IR filter case right. So, the question is are there linear phase IR filters right. Suppose you have H of Z which is linear phase FIR and this frequency response can be written as H of e to the j omega times e to the j theta of omega and this of course is linear phase. And suppose you consider g of z which is 1 over h of z what can you say about g of z what are the things that you can say about g of z. First is g of z IAR or FIR. It is IAR because zeros become poles and poles become zeros. Therefore, if you had an FIR filter something like this and then this will be all right. So, this is clearly it has uncancelled non trivial poles. So, this will be F IAR. Is this linear phase or non linear phase? Because this will be 1 over this times e to the minus j theta of omega. If theta of omega were linear phase, this also has to be linear phase. So, this is indeed exactly linear phase. And now we have seen uh, examples and made the general remark that given the choice between IR and FIR, you would prefer IR because it meets the same magnitude response with a much lower order, right. And hence, given these two choices, you want to pick the IR filter. You also want linear phase, and here is an IR filter with exact linear phase. So, clearly this is something that is what you want. So, what gives if this IR filter had linear phase and IR filters in general have lower order than FIR filters then why did we even spend time learning about FIR filters, linear phase all those things. This IR filter can be implemented without any trouble. This is rational transfer function correct. Therefore, it can be implemented using a linear constant coefficient difference equation. Okay. Why do you want to think about that? <laughs>